1962 award-winning children's book, The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats, is about a young boy who ventures out to explore the city by himself for the very first time. And now this captivating story has come to life on stage at Houston Grand Opera. Joe Sam is there downtown with more on this. Hi, Joe. Hey guys, that's absolutely right. So a lot of people are anticipating this amazing production. They're actually inside right now in rehearsals. We're going to show you that in just a bit. But for right now, we want to talk to the director right here, Ometa, to give us information about all of this magic that's happening on stage, the beautiful voices that are going to be displayed and spotlighted through this production. How does it feel to be putting this on for everyone here in Houston? It is so exciting. So this world premiere opera, never been seen before. We're working on it right now. We transformed the snow we day, which is everyone's favorite children's mm -hmm. book, into this huge opera for everyone to enjoy. Now, I got a little sneak peek of the costumes and the performers that are going to be in here. You guys have been going through so much rehearsal. We have video of you guys actually doing all of those practice runs. Talk about the rehearsal and how challenging has it been to maybe overcome some of the things that have been put in your way. So this is the most exciting part of it. We've been working on this for years and years and years. Had to delay the whole thing for a year because of COVID, mm -hmm. but now is the part where all the magic comes together. So mm -hmm. we've got scenery flying in and out. We've got the singers changing costumes fast backstage and we're practicing with our amazing orchestra. Oh. It's all coming together right now. And I can hear a little bit of that beautiful magic that's happening right now. We're going to let our photographer Paul head inside to show everyone a little bit of that rehearsal that's happening right now. And as everyone's on stage, look at that beautiful stage. This is something that's really, really great. How can people get their tickets to come and check out the snowy day production? All they have to do is head to the Houston Grand Opera website and they will get their tickets, but I have to say they have to do it fast because tickets are going and they're going very fast. This is going to be really great and I know you're super excited to see this all come to life. First time world premiere happening here in Houston. I know you have something to say about that. I am just so excited. And it's great that we are excited about it. We want everyone else to get excited about that, too. You guys just saw that sneak peek. We're going to give you more later on in the show. This is going to be wonderful because we're going to be talking to someone who's actually a part of making this all happen as well. For right now, you guys, we're going to send it back to you in the studio. Don't go anywhere because you're going to be giving me more information about this incredible production. Courtney and Derek, you guys saw that sneak peek in there. It is <laughs> going to be wonderful. It looks wonderful, and it also looks like a whole lot of fun. Joe, thanks for that. Hey guys, welcome back here to Houston Life. You know, the Houston Grand Opera has been putting on amazing productions for over 66 years, and they're continuing to do that with the world premiere of the snowy day. You can see how big I'm smiling. I'm excited about it, and someone else who's excited about it here is Raven, one of the performers here. You're going to be playing Peter, and this has been something in the works for such a long time. How long has it been taking you to prepare for such a production? Yeah, so we've been rehearsing this year for about four weeks now, mm. um, but we did have a like a whole workshop process last year where we worked on the music and we worked on staging um, without having to go to stage because of the COVID-19 shutdowns. Mm -hmm. So really, most of us have been living with the score for like well over a year now. <laughs> yeah, there's I love what's happening because we're backstage right now of this production. So we really get a special sneak peek of what's going on oh, and yeah. all the work <laughs> that goes into putting this on. Talk about why this is so important for people to actually come and see this production because like we said, this is the first time it's happening here in Houston. Yeah, so it's a world premiere, and it's uh, Joel Thompson's first opera, um, and he's a great composer. He's composed other pieces, um, but his first opera, and I just think in general it's important to see like world premieres, mm -hmm. um, new operas. Operas tend to be old when, <laughs> when people Absolutely. do them, um, and the cast is so diverse, and the team behind it is so diverse, so I think it's a great show for everyone. Opera is such a unique skill mm -hmm. to hone in on. How long have you been doing this, and being able to actually get get on stage and hit the notes that you're able to hit. Yeah. This is going to be an hour-long performance, but it takes a lot to get this done. Oh yeah, for sure. And hours and hours of training. Personally, I uh, started singing opera right when I went to undergrad, so mm -hmm. that's been about eight years ago now. Wow. That I've been training. Super long. Yeah. So you have to give me a quick little lesson. We have about 15 seconds. Okay. Give me something easy to do. Easy. Okay. Easy. You're going to sing this an octave down. Okay. And you're just going to sing. You. 
All right, you guys, you have to come and see Raven and all the other performers. There's going to be seven performers doing different roles here at the Wortham Center here, happening Thursday night at 7 o'clock. We're going to have all the information for tickets on our website, HoustonLife.tv. Courtney and Derek, how did I do? Did I, can I perform out here? Yes, you, you, you did, did great. Thumbs up. Love it. <laughs> thumbs up, thumbs up. Absolutely. I love those costumes as well. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> have fun out there, Joe.